you don't consider them. But then seeing what we as Northerners have suffered in the hands of our own Northerners that have governed us, we realize now, especially when you're educated, you start to put one and two together and you don't allow them to deceive you as they've always done. They say, vote for us. We are from the same religion. We are all from the same region. And so later, as I saw that and see how our people were so impoverished and we have always been victim, even the insecurity, we suffer it more in the North. Uh, the poverty, we suffer more. And it's just the ruling elite, elites that keep, you know, enjoying and then we keep suffering. So it started to make me to think, to throw away this garbage about religion, throw away this garbage about sectionalism. We are Northerners, we are Northerners. I'm asking, Northern hasn't paid my bills. Northern, you know, they go abroad, they get the medical help, we suffer and die. So I told myself, I don't care where you come from. I'm going to look for among the candidates who has what it takes. That's how I started to check on the resume, check on their past records, past achievement. Then I stumbled on OB. Then I told myself, you mean there are Nigerians like this? Then why have we been suffering all these years? And that's how I started. I completely wiped away the idea of where he comes from. I saw him as a Nigerian. Then I told myself, even though I'm 60 something years old and most of the obedience are young, I'm becoming young at heart and I'm also.